today we will see some questions based on structure of arrays that has previously been asked in the ktu question paper here there are three questions the first question is to create a structure student with the details roll number name marks and grade of the student we read the details of n students when the name of the student is given as input we display the details of that particular student in the second question we create a database of books present in a library and depending upon the number of copies available we sort the books in the decreasing order the third question we create a structure for employee with the details employee id name and salary we create the detail we read the details of n employees and display the details of the employees whose salary is greater than 10000 we will see the first question write a c program to create a structure student with detail roll number name mark and grade we have to read the details of n students and display the details of a single student when the name is given as input we create a student structure with name as character array it can store name up to 10 characters roll number is integer mark is char integer array which stores the marks of five subjects total mark we add up all the marks and store it in total grade when the total mark is greater than 250 we assign the grade pass else we assign it as fail in the main program we have created a student structure array s of 20 you can store the details of 20 students if you want to store the details of 50 students you can write it as struct student s of 50 then you having a character array st name which stores the name of the student whose details that are required initially you are entering the number of students in the class storing it to n using a loop for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus you are reading the details of the student first you are entering the name and roll number which is assigned to s Zero dot name, the first element, and s zero dot roll number. Initially, s zero dot total mark is assigned to zero. Using another loop, j equal to zero, j less than five. You are entering the marks in five subjects. As and when you are entering, you are adding it to the total. S i dot total mark plus equal to s i dot mark of j. First, the inner loop is executed. All the marks are read, and it is assigned to total mark. And then you will check whether it is greater than two fifty and assign it to the grade S zero dot grade equal to pass. The loop for i equal to zero is repeated till you read the details of n students. you are checking if si dot total mark greater than 250 for each student if so you are assigning si dot grade equal to pass we are using the string function str cpy because you cannot assign it using an assignment operator it is of copying a character array to another character array that is pass is a string uh, suppose the total mark is less than 250 you are assigning si dot grade equal to fail and the loop continues next you are asked to enter the name of the student whose details are required and it is copied to st name you are using a linear search for comparing the name entered with the details of the students entered so you are starting from the beginning for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus again you cannot use equal to equal to operator you are using str cmp function because it is string str cmp is the 
string comparison function. st name is compared with each name starting with s0 dot name, s1 dot name, s2 dot name similarly till you get the values equal. Once it is equal, strcmp will assign the value, return the value 0. If it is 0, you assign flag equal to 1. Where you have declared flag, you have initially set as 0, means the element was not found. If flag equal to 1, you have found the details of the student whose name is required. And you are coming out of the loop because once the search is obtained, you don't need to further go through the loop. You come out of the loop. If flag equal to equal to 1, that is you have found the student, you are giving the details s dot name s i dot name s i dot roll number s i dot total mark and the grade if it is equal to zero the details are not available this is a sample output in which you have entered the details of four students first one enter name and roll number of student one you have entered it as aman and the roll number is one you have entered the marks in five subjects 80, 80, 80, everything 80. Internally, you have calculated the percentage, the total and assigned the grade pass. Similarly, the details of the second, third and the fourth student has been entered. This is a sample output in which you have entered the details of four students. First one, enter name and roll number of student one. You have entered it as Aman and the roll number is one. You have entered the marks in five subjects. 80, 80, 80, everything 80. Internally, you have calculated the percentage, the total and assigned the grade pass. Similarly, the details of the second, third and the fourth student has been entered. The fourth student also has been entered. Nuha, row number 4 and the subject's marks has been entered. Now, enter the name of the student whose details are required. You have entered Amen. So the details of Aman has been given. Aman, roll number 1, total mark is 400 and pass. The individual marks has not been displayed. If that is also required, you can use a loop and display the individual marks. The next question is to create a library database with the details of the book, book ID, name, author and the number of copies available in the library. Depending upon the number of copies available, you are sorting the books in the decreasing order. You have created a structure book with character array name, character array author, book ID and the number of copies available are of type integer. In the main program, you have created an array of structure book B of 20. You can store the details of 20 books. Initially, you are entering the number of books. It is stored to n. Using a loop for i equal to 0, i less than n, you are reading the details of the book. Book name, author, book ID and the number of copies. Now, you are sorting the details of the books based on the number of copies. You can use any sorting algorithm. Here, we have used a simple sorting algorithm. For i equal to 0, i less than n, j equal to 0, j less than n. If b i dot number of copy is greater than b j dot number of copy, you are checking the value of number of copies alone. If it is greater, you have to swap the whole structure as such. You have declared temp as a structure variable. Temp equal to b of i, not b i dot number of copy you want to swap the whole structure as such so temp equal to b of i b of i equal to b of j b of j equal to temp so all the details book name or the book id and the number of copies as such will be sorted next you are printing the details of the book name of the book or the name book id and the total number of copies for printing in the tabular format, you are using slash t and slash n. Slash t leaves space in between the individual elements, name, author, book ID and number of copies. 
after each book details have been printed you are specifying a slash in so that the next book's details are printed in the next line using a loop for i equal to 0 i less than n you can print the details of all the books that are available in the library here is a sample output you have entered the details of the books of three books book name c++ ashok book id 1 and number of copies available is 8 the second book number of copies available is 5 third book number of available copies is 12 so decreasing order you have sorted it as java c++ and python and the details are given in the tabular format the third question is to create an structure for employee with information employee id name and salary you are writing a program to read the details of n employees and display the details of the employee whose salary is greater than 10000 they have asked you to use a pointer to a structure pointer means you are storing the address of the structure element using the same data type of structure create a structure employee with name as character array employee id and salary in the main program you created a structure employee e of 20 you can store the details of 20 employees and star ptr is of the same data type as that of employee enter the number of employees which is stored to n Using a for loop as we have done before, you are reading the details of n employees ei.name, ei.employee id, ei.salary. Once the loop is over, you are assigning the first employee's address to PTR that is shown in red. PTR equal to ampersand. Ampersand operator is the address operator. Ampersand e of 0. e of 0 is the first employee. You can either write it as e of 0 or simply write as ampersand of e. Either case, it will be assigning the address of the first element in the structure. Now print the details of the employees whose salary is greater than 1000. Starting with the first employee, you are checking if the salary is greater than 10,000. Since you have used PTR uh, pointer, the way to access the salary is ptr member access operator salary it's a hyphen and a greater than sign like an arrow pointer it is called as the member access point operator ptr member access operator salary greater than 10000 if the condition is true you are printing the details again you have used the same operator to print the name employee id and salary ptr of name ptr of employee id ptr of salary next you have to increment the pointer ptr so ptr plus plus points to the next employee's id again you're checking the salary if it is greater you will be printing the details Here's a sample output. You have entered the details of four employees. You have sorted them and you have displayed the salary of two employees since only two employees have salary greater than 10,000. Other two employees, the salaries are lesser. Same way, you are printing in the tabular format using slash t and slash n. Next, 